What's going on team? Hope you're all doing well and welcome back to another episode of the Stephen Adro to Glory. And I'm just going to get out the way straight away, but the beard, it has gone. I had to take it off. I was getting a bit fed up with it. I fancied a change, so there you go. There you go. I feel like I've got a, a little head now. It feels like a trunk with the beard. I felt like my face was about this long or something and now that I've took it off, I'm like, was my head always this small? What's going on? But there you go. Let us know in the comments what you reckon. What you reckon? Do you think it's, you think it's our reach? Shall I grow it back? There you go. But as for this episode, we're going to be getting through the month of December. I want to be getting into that transfer window, see if we can make some changes to the team. Not that I think we need to make too many, but there's been some mention of like the likes of Troy Parrott and stuff like that. And if we've got the money, I wouldn't mind looking to bring him into the team. Could be, could be an ideal signing. But as for the table, we moved up into eighth position, which I think is absolutely fantastic. I'm going to be pushing for even higher in this one. Obviously, I'm not going to say, oh, I... I'm going to be looking to go at the bottom of the table in this episode, leg. That's exactly what I want. So we're not going to be looking to do that. We did get a few draws at the end of the last episode, which wasn't great. Especially, I said that twice there, it's, it's especially, there you can, getting a bit of a stutter. But especially considering it was against bottom of the table, Blackburn Rovers. Getting a draw against them, absolute nightmare. But in this one, we're all going to be going up against Hull straight away. I am going to attend this press conference, I think, because we haven't done it in a while. It'll be good. It'll be good to attend it. See what they're going to ask with. I don't think it's going to realistically change much, is it? There you go. He's sitting down. I actually look like him a bit more now because you can't get beards in FIFA, which is a bit of a nightmare. But on paper, it looks like Hull City and Steven are just similar. Uh, we're going to focus on playing well. That's exactly what we're going to be doing. That's what we're going to be doing. Your recent form suggests you'll be able to stay clear of the bottom. I would like to think so. I would like to think so. Our momentum is not dropping. We've got a clear goal in mind. There you go. Stevenage on a bad run of form recently. What the hell are these reporters asking us these for? You're on a bad run of form. We went from 18th to 8th. Are you cracking jokes, man? Are you cracking jokes? It's me to blame. I don't know what else to say. This is why I don't realistically do these too much okay, because no, 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 the questions, they're just ridiculous, Sorry, aren't they? They're done. absolutely ridiculous. Aye, walk out. You should have walked out ages ago, mate. But we're going to get in this game against Hull. It is going to be the second team because I want to see what Fritz and, and Harris can do for it. But it is mainly because the next game up is going to be against Leeds United. And they are top of the table. If we can take points off Leeds United in this game, It'll be absolutely massive for it to push for that title. So that's why it's going to be the first, the second team even in this one. So we're going to get straight into it. Let's see if taking the beard off is going to push with, give us some luck and get with the first three points of this episode. Nowadays, yeah, most coaches are adopting this formation. To list. What it does give you he's going to look to play in Fritzen. Fritzen here. Oh, he's been taken down. Easy penalty. I knew it. I knew it when that was coming in. There you go, Burke. What an absolute burke. That's what I'm talking about. He's got a red card as well. See you later, son. Early bath for you. Go on. See you later. <laughs> yes, come on. Shocking tackle leg. Absolutely shocking. So it's List stepping up. I normally go bottom left corner, but we're going to go for top left this time. See if he can place it. And he has done exactly that. List getting the first goal forward. I'm going to see it now, but I reckon hold down to 10 men. We should be sorted here. They're quite low on the table. So I think we should be, again, absolutely sorted. Play this to Daub. Daub forcing his way through here. He's being able to find the pass to Harris as well. Harris. Oh, a little bit of skill. Thank you very much. This could be ideal. Daub. Oh. Close. Pretty close. Oh, I was hoping it was going to show his bit of skill again. We don't do much skill. But there you go. <laughs> Van Kooten. Nice ball Jones. to Dr. Jones. Playing it. Mr. Harris. Dauber. Come on, Dow, what you got? <laughs> <laughs> wow. What a shot. Maybe he should have a shave because that, that beard he's got going on. No, come on, mate. You need to get rid of that leg. Come on, list this time. This time, come on, List. He gets his goal. Second of the day. Oh, I would have been angry with that lad. For it went on to potentially lose this game. You never know, like. 
There was enough time still left. The goal that was scored. It's going their way, 2-0. And it's a matter of what occurs in the final 15 minutes. It's with Antonio Marin. to pass the ball but remaining patient looks promising ball and now passing it through able to get through oh Bjork and winning that back forward though Good way to kick things off, a nice 2-0 win, Lis picking up both goals and I knew when Hull picked up that red card that we should just be breezing past them. We maybe should have been scoring a couple of more goals than two but there you go and a win is a win at the end of the day. We're still sitting in eighth place but we're on equal points with Fulham. Stoke are only a point ahead of us so you never know what could break into that top six. This game is going to be absolutely huge away to Leeds. It's 100% going to be the first team in this one. I'm looking at Semenyo in this. I'm hoping he is going to be back. We need Super Semenyo back. I've said it the past couple of episodes. He did get a couple of goals in the last one, but we need him to be banging in three or four game, man, like he used to be. So Palacios and Semenyo, we're going to be looking at you, lads, 100%. So let's get into this game against Leeds. They are the league leaders at the minute, so it's going to be a tough one, especially away as well. But I think we've got it in with. We've got it in with to go on and pick up the three points. Gelhart, Palacios. This is it. Semenyo has been able to play in. Bitter, come on, Bitter. What you got for it? Can you put one 1-0 up? Yes, he can. Bitter makes it 1-0. Come on, Stevenage 1-0 up against the league leaders. Oh, you know it, mate. You know it. What a goal. Well done, son. Well done. Woo, Jesus. <laughs> New it here. Semenyo playing that pass off. Bitter. He's got the stones. Puts a 1 0 up. Come on. Hickey. Gonna run at them a bit with Hickey here, like. Cheeky to Palacios. Palacios. Hickey made the run, but it doesn't matter because Palacios has put a 2 0 up. Come on, lads. Go and celebrate with them. How eh? There it is. Exactly. Shush your lips, Leeds fans. Feels terrible saying that, considering we did that Leeds United career mode, but doesn't matter because we're now managing Stevenage. Had a feeling we should have maybe passed it, but it didn't matter. Kept it low. And that's all we needed to do. Palacios making it 2 0. What a lad. The wild one. Ho ho ho! What a ball to Bitter. Bitter is in. Is he going to be getting his second goal? Yes, he is. We're absolutely destroying Leeds here. Bitter has turned up in this one 100%. Again, I didn't know whether to play it across to Semenyo, but I thought, nah, he's already got one goal. Why not give him the opportunity to score another? Just burst down the wing here. Great play from the wild one to set that up. There you go. Not even half time yet. Not even half time. And we're 3 0 up against the league leaders. Oh, Gelhart. Won that. Semenyo is in here. Can Semenyo pick up a goal? Super. Semenyo, come on. You ready? You know what's coming, don't you? You know what's coming. Wait until he gets there. Oh, Super Semenyo. <laughs> you can. It's calming everyone down. Calming everyone down. So much space for him here. Come on. You know what's going to happen. Oh, he thought he was going to go to the right, but he didn't. Slot it in the left. Here you go, mate. No chance. No chance at all. Have that. Thank you, Gelhart. Ball through. Palacios has got there. Cheeky to Gelhart. What we're going to do. Cross. Semenyo. Getting his second goal. Getting his second goal. Oh, Super Semenyo. Jesus. He's losing me breath there. And the ultimate disrespect. Right in the Leeds fans' faces. Giving it the absolute big one. Well, there you go. 5 0, man. Semenyo threw his legs as well. Oh, come on. He's having a laugh there. Like, he's having a laugh. Oh, mate. 
I'd just, I'd retire now. Just retire. <laughs> Palacios. You know what he's going to do, don't you? He's going to send Semenuel. Semenuel, who's on his hat trick. Semenuel, can he get his hat trick? Oh my God, he is back. He is back. Super Semenuel. What a comeback, son. Makes it 6 0. He's in the Leeds fans' faces yet again. Come here, son. Give us a hug. Come on. You know what we haven't done yet? What have we not done yet? Come on. Oh, -ho, Super Semenu. Yes, son. You are back 100%. That is what I'm talking about. And what a game to make your return. Come on, lads. That's what I'm talking about. League leaders, I don't think so. You didn't play like it. We beat you 6 0. Six goals. And Semenyo, he is back. Super Semenyo has returned. What an absolute beast in that game he was. And not only that, look at this. He's in the top goal scorer list now in fourth. 11 goals. He's only nine goals behind door balls. Absolutely fantastic, mate. Absolutely fantastic. Next game up, we're away to Swansea. I'm just going to sim this one. It probably will be a difficult game. It is going to be the second team that's out. But after that performance from the lads in that last one, they've got to have the confidence to go on to win. Surely, they have drawn and lost the past three games, Swansea. So, you know, you know, we've got a good chance. So, let's find out. We're going to sim it. Come on, lads. I just need a 1-0 here. It's a 1-1. Against Swansea, I don't think that's too bad. Let's see what it's done to the table for a... Ooh, we're still in sixth. I'm quite happy with that. I'll take that for the time being because a couple of other games that we've got coming, I don't think they're going to be that difficult. I reckon we can pick up a good few more points in this episode. But look at that, man. How many points now? 16 points behind Leeds. It's not as bad as it was, like Not as bad as it was. And I think we can go on to definitely push for... Shall I, shall I go out on a limb? Top three this episode. Top three. Could we do it? That we're going to give it one hell of a shot, like. We've got one monthly scout update from Davis. I'm hoping the lad is going to pull something out the bag here for her. He hasn't done it the past couple. Who is this kid? Alfonso Sepulveda. Sepulveda. There we go. We'll go with that. 68 and 92 potential. 450,000. Oh, yes. I think I'll sign you up, mate. Thank you. Who's this? Granero. No, thanks. Another lad. Nah, we're not, we're not interested in these by the looks of it. But that one lad, 450,000. Could it be someone that could go into the first team for her? 64. Oh, Jesus. Some of them are shocking. But we'll stick with that one that he has brought in. At least he's done that. He's a right mate player as well. Decent. Decent mate. Not bad at all. We're going to sign you up. Straight away promote a senior team. Let's have a little look at him, eh? What are you looking like? I'm glad that we've got another winger in because... We we'll have mentioned that we're all looking to bring some more wingers into the team. It's going to save us some money, 100%. Might mean that Harris can move into the first team more regular. Oh, he hasn't got anything on him, though. That's an absolute nightmare. I thought we're on to another beast, but there you go. And we'll still have a look at some of his stats. I mean, medium high work rate, skill moves three. Nothing amazing there. Like acceleration and sprint speed is pretty diabolical. He's not what I was expecting. I think I am just going to sell him on, unfortunately. But it's 450000 that we never had before. So, eh, there you go. There you go. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Do you know what I'm saying? As for this next game as well, I'm just going to sim it against Wigan. Why not? We played well in the game against Swansea. I think 1-1 was fair enough. I think I am going to... I don't know which, which to play because we have got Nottingham Forest up next. I think I will risk playing the first team in this one. And then the lads should be all right. We can always mix things up. But Forrest, I think they are still in second place. So it will be a difficult game. But I'm going to take the risk. We might as well take the risk. They have lost and drawn the past three games. Very similar to Swansea. But playing the first team, we should do the business here. And we'll have... And have you seen what's happened? Gelhart has picked up an injury. You have got to be joking me. Like, that's what can happen when you sim games. Like, what is going on? Van der Voort, he's happy. I'm happy with the amount of football you should be, mate. You're playing absolutely tons of games. Canna, proud of your son. I'm just interested in this. In three weeks, man. Three weeks for Gelhart. You've got to be joking. Well, it looks like it is going to be Max Harris's time. Because he's going to be going into the first team. Bitter. You're going on that left-hand side. And Harris is going to be coming in. Where is he? Why are you hiding from us, Harris? Why are you hiding, son? Where the hell is he? Am I missing something here? 
I must be missing something here. Max Harris, where are your son? Why can I not find him? Where the hell has he gone? There's something... I'll change that anyway. I'll change it at some point. There's something going on with this, though. Why is he not there? Harris, man. What are you playing at? He's just disappeared? Max Harris has disappeared. There you go. There he is. Jesus Christ. Aye, that was entertaining, wasn't it? Apologies about that. But bloody hell. Here you can. We're going to get some training for the lads as well now. After that senior moment. Couldn't even find Harris, man. He's staying us right in the face. I've put some of the other lads in the training now as well. So we've got Harrison in there twice because he is apparently looking absolutely unreal. So we've got Shaw in there as well. So he can always come in since we've got that Gelhart injury. We've got Rose and Wood in there as well. So we'll sim through that. Uh, they haven't done too bad. They have not done too bad. Harrison is up to a 59. I want to get him to that 60 to see if he actually is going to be a decent player for us. We're all going to get into this game against Forest. It is going to be the first team, 100%. I don't think that's too bad in regards to stamina. So, let's get into it. See if we can take out another massive team in the league. Come on. Hickey. Hickey. Masengo. Come on. A couple of players who nice ball to Bitter. Come on. Played yeah, absolutely unreal in the that. game against Leeds. Bitter for another goal in the set. Best sword. And he's just stopped. Well done, mate. Well done, because you've got to imagine that would have been us 1-0 up there. Like, Lolly. Oh, he's in here. He's in. Van der Voort, what a save. What a save, son. Keep winning it. 100% there. Oh, Jesus. Matty is going to play in. Palacios here. Palacios to put a 1-0 up. Come on, lad. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. Van der Voort has just saved us from going 1-0 down. And then we've went back up, put it 1-0 up. Put it 1-0 up, put us 1-0 up. What am I going on about, man? But Palacios, look at that, man. A five-star weak foot, definitely coming into play there, like. Palacios. Plays it through to Matty. Matty. He's not going to send Semenyo here. Semenyo, what you got for him, mate? What you got? He's got a pass. That's what he's got. Palacios should have put a 2-0 up. And then couldn't get on there. Bloody hell, man. Masengo. Palacios to Matty. Matty being able to play it back. Palacios returned the favour. Matty Longstaff. Oh, thought he was going to put with 2-0 up, man. What's going on? Just don't want to go on 2-0 up. I sliced it, man. That's what happened. Not good, mate. Not great. Palacios. Through to Matty. Come on, Matty, what you got? Still, Matty. Ball. Semenyo. So oh, even Semenyo can't put with 2 0 up, man. Oh, God almighty. That should have been 2 0, 100%. Oh, he's classes offside anyway, but come on. Forrest with a very late corner. Not looking forward to this. It's coming in. Ooh, get that away. Get rid of it. The pressure. I cannot believe this, like, dying minutes of the game and Forrest have equalised. You've got to be cracking jokes yeah. like, ball came in. Came back out, I thought, bitter, nah, smashes it on the volley and it's 1-1. There's no chance of winning this now. What an absolute nightmare, it would have been a huge three points for her as well. Oh... Chance after chance after chance in that one to go 2-0 up and we'll end up drawing 1-1. What a nightmare for her because it's also pushed we're out of the top six, which I am not happy about at all. There is only two points in it though, and this game could change all that. But Fulham, I would imagine they're probably going to go on and win their game. But this is going to be an away game against Blackburn Rovers. We had a bit of a nightmare when it came to playing them a couple of episodes ago. But I am just going to sim this one. We're going to sim it with the second team. I'm hoping these lads can do the business for where I don't want to be picking up any more draws. They've lost one and drawn, so it should be interesting because they're out of the drop zone now. Stevenage has absolutely smashed them 2-0. Come on, lads. Jones and Shaw picking up a goals there. I am pretty chuffed about that. So let's see what that's done to the table for her. There you go. Back in six. I was wrong about Fulham. There you go. There you go, and that's football for you, innit? That is football. We're going to get some more training for the Youth Academy and Wood here. 
So what they're doing, not great, not great at all. I just want Harrison to make that 60. We need to know what he is made of 100%. But Wood, he is still going to be getting plenty of game time. So maybe he shouldn't be in there as much. I don't know. We're going to get into this game against Charlton though. I believe it could be the last game of December. Let's have a look. It is. It's the last game of December. And then after this one, the transfer window is open. Come on, lads. Let's have a little look because I know we did get a full scout report back on Troy Parrott. And that is potentially who I would look to bring in. But with the likes of Gelhart being injured, I was strong enough. So should we be looking at an answer for someone on the right or left-hand side? Uh, I think that would be who we would look for. Striker-wise, oh, we're really struggling with strikers. We do have Semenyo, but then we've got Fritzen. But then we've got no one else, realistically, that could come in. So that's why I've been thinking of Troy Parrott to come into the team. I think it would be a good person to bring in. Where is he, though? That is the question. There's still that lad, Ada. He's up to nearly seven million now. I can understand why he's class. Millet was another option. I mean, it's went up massively now. It was 2.8 million. He's now worth between four and seven. I should have got him, really. I should have got him when I had the chance. That lad is crazy. The regen of Frank Ribery. But Troy Parrott. Oh, God, man. I thought, oh, maybe he's going for him. Not when he's costing me between five and six million. I don't think we're going to have anywhere near that to spend. So that could be out the window. We might have to look at other options. Velasco, we don't know anything about him. We maybe should scout him a little bit further. Because I'm sure we did have the scout report back for him. But now it's gone. I don't know what's happened. Maybe they've lost it. But I don't know. They've lost it in the paperwork. Who knows? But anyway, we're going to get into this last game against Charlton. I'm looking for another three points here. Be great if we could end the episode on 50 points. Get close to Middlesbrough. I think that's the way we need to go. So... It is 100% going to be the first team. I don't like the fact that Semenyo is looking absolutely knackered. So we might need to bring Fritzen in. All the lads look knackered. But I suppose that's what happens when you play games so close together. But we're going to have to make some changes in this 100%. But let's get into it. Pick up, hopefully, the last three points of the episode. It's what we need. Matty. To Fritzen. Started Fritzen over Semenyo. Was that the right thing to do? Potentially, it was not. What type of shot was that, man? Hickey. Ball. Palacios. Seen like... Nice little run from Manny. What a goal that would have been, son. What a goal. Nice little volley. It's too wide. The wild one. Played the ball to Harris. Where's me midfield, man? Straight through. Come on. What a ball. Come on, Fritzen, man. Straight at the keeper. We're knocking. We're knocking. We're just not getting an answer. Masengo. Palacios. Plays it out to Bitter. He's got to run at them here. We've just brought Semenyo and List on. Can they do anything? Semenyo off the post. And List. Oh, my God, man. Come on. Both lads that we've just brought on can't do a thing. Shocking. Palacios. List. Great ball to Super Semenyo, come on! Puts a 1 0 up. How it's took with 66 minutes, I do not know. But Super Semenyo comes off the bench, scores the goal that we needed. Come on, lad. Come on. Oh, God almighty. He's just picked up a yellow card. Is he going to be going off? Yellow. And there's the second. He's off. Get off, son. Yeah, Both fouls on Palacios as well. He knows that he's far too good. And it's cost him. This one was absolutely shocking. Look at that, man. Nut to the balls and everything. Right. Can we set this up? For Palacios here. We're going to try. Matty, digging it. Palacios on the... On the body. Wow. Yeah, good mate. Better. However. Better. Not going to send Semenyo. He's got the pace on him. Semenyo looking for another one. Come on. Come on. I've forgotten the last goal that he scored. But here we'll go. Oh, Super Semenyo. Oh, my God. He is 110% back. Come on, lad. Come on. Just come on. Like I say, 
turned this game around. Great ball through. Near guard 2-0. There it is then, we've ended the episode on 50 points. I am absolutely chuffed with that. Super Semenyo, he is back. I know I've said it quite a bit in this episode, but I'm just absolutely chuffed that he's made a return. We need him. And just just like that, just exactly for games like that, we started with Fritzen. He couldn't do the job for we'll bring Semenyo on. Totally changes the game. 2-0 win for we. There you can. There you go. As for the rest of the teams, we've got Forrest at the top now. You've got to imagine that that point that they gained against us has helped them there. Leeds United dropping into second. They're still on 63 points as well, though. And then you've got Derby, Cardiff, Middlesbrough that are all ahead of us. But for halfway through the season, I'm quite happy with sixth. I really am. As for the other teams, though, let's have a look. Let's have a look. We've got Wigan, Ipswich and Barnsley at the bottom of the league. Bit of a nightmare for them. Blackburn Rovers have went into 20th. So, aye, there you go. So I am going to end the episode here. Like I say, the next one, the transfer window will be open. I don't realistically know if we're going to be able to bring anyone in. We've only got 612k in the budget, which isn't a lot. We we'll have sold a couple of players, but it's not going to be bringing in massive amounts of money. And I'm not looking to realistically get rid of anyone in the team. Some youth players, maybe, that we're never going to use. Yes, but as for the core players, not a chance like a better Gelhart. They're all going to be staying, so... Aye, there you go. So, like I say, I'm going to end the episode there. And if you have enjoyed it, drop a little like. It is much appreciated. And if you're all new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and join KO United. But as always, I'll see you in the next one.